Let's make this 100,000% natural aloe vera gel. It is so easy to make and so beneficial for our skin and our hair. And I want you to watch all the way to the end because I want to show you guys how you can make this amazing hair moisturizing cream that you can use as a leave-in conditioner or as a hair butter in general to achieve maximum length retention. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Brahma. Today we are making aloe vera gel. If you have not subscribed yet though, please go ahead and hit on that subscribe button. Join the family. I am starting with three aloe vera leaves today and I'm just gonna cut it in pieces. I've already washed and cleaned my, my leaves. And what I'm gonna be doing today is actually very explanatory, self-explanatory. I do have a video on my channel on how you can make aloe vera gel last time we did blend it in a blender and we use zentac gum to uh, solidify it but this time we are gonna just go ahead and peel our gel and we're gonna naturally extract the gel and that is just about it just watch the process it is pretty much self-explanatory what I'm doing and that is pretty much it Aloe vera contains so many fatty acids and amino acids that are very rich in vitamin A, B12, C and E to help strengthen your hair and prevent hair breakage. And I am finally done with this process. I have scraped all my gels out of the leaves and I have my pure gel over here. It still has some, um, some pulp into it. And look at this gel guys, it's all thick and so gooey, it's all natural guys. At this point, what I need to do next is just go ahead and filter this gel so we can get all the residues and the skin that has been put in there or the the pulp to be just filter out be separated At this point you can use whatever you choose to uh, filter your gel I was using this it, it works but it's way too slow for me so I am going to change the process and use my um, cheese cloth to go ahead and continue with the filtration and it is much faster for me
Just make sure you squeeze all your gel out and I still have some pulp left and it's still a lot of gel here. I am not going to go ahead and throw this out. I will use this to put it in my deep conditioner for later. So at this point your gel is pretty much ready and you can go ahead and put this in a container that has a lid and store it inside a, a, a refrigerator. But me, for me personally, I sometimes I will add a little bit of the preservative just because just in case you have have not gone through this as quickly as possible it's up to you how much is the quantity that you may depend also on how the shelf life is if you don't if you don't put any preservative on your uh, aloe vera you can last up to at least five weeks in your refrigerator just know when you add the, the the preservative though it might discolor your aloe vera gel now we are gonna go ahead and move on to our leave-in conditioner it is very easy to make and we are going to go ahead and have an oil phase and a water phase so for the oil phase i am using cetyl alcohol the next uh, thing i will be adding is an emulsifier and we need an emulsifier just because we are going to add aloe vera which is liquid water it has water in it in order to combine both we need this emulsifier the one i'm using today is btms 50 and you can use an emulsifier of your choice and then you add some oil you can add your olive oil your avocado oil whichever and then the butter that i used was shea butter next is our water face is our aloe vera gel and i did add some aloe vera juice to add to the water face and now that our water phase and our oil phase is ready, we're gonna take it to a warm bath and we're gonna let it melt all together. Once it's all melted together, I'm transferring these to another container so you can take your hand mixer and start mixing this. This is the hand blender actually. You start mixing this until it completely emulsifies together. This cream is so good, very moisturizing, will stop your hair from breaking and will help you retain length. You want to continue with this process for a little bit until you know that this has completely blended together and there will be no separation. So as this is cooling down, it will start thickening up and that's how your cream is start forming together. So guys, if you are still here, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. Please go ahead and click on that subscribe button and also on the notification button so you do not miss any video from me. So as you can see, our cream is getting thicker and thicker as it's cooling down and you're going to continue mixing this until it completely cool down. Once your cream completely cool down, it is time to add other things like uh, your preservatives. So for me today, I am using vitamin E oil. To preserve my oil content, I will be using mint just for the for the smell and also for the stimulation purposes and then i am going to use some rosemary as well for the stimulation purposes and i will use my preservative of course to preserve our oil i mean our cream and all the ingredients and all the measurements will be listed in the description box so please refer to the description box to see the exact measurements that I use to make this hair cream. This cream can be used as a hair conditioner. It can be used as a leave-in conditioner, which means after you shampoo and condition your hair, you can just use this as a leave-in conditioner. So guys, if you have learned anything and find this video helpful at all, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
go ahead and subscribe as well and hit on that as notification button so you don't miss any video from me share with your friends and families and leave me comment if you have any question i will see you next time thanks for watching bye